Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another remote controlled drone. And this one is called the Nuvak Kai Security Droid, which is this lovely thing sitting right next to me. So this is a very small, very compact drone that features two Gatling guns to blast your enemies with, as well as a self-destruct sequence in case you want to go on a suicide run. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Nuvak, is 76 small blocks and there is a ion version in case you want to use it in space and that one comes in at 82 small blocks. Both of them use the Sparks of the Future and Wasteland DLC packs. You can see a nice bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page. So I'll give it a thumbs up to both of these. Move around to the very front here. We'll have a very brief look around the outside. My character can now just burr off a little bit. Then we just fly around for a bit, self-destruct it and now we that. So at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and center is our camera of how we're going to use the drone, fly it around and precisely aim where we're going to be firing our Gatling guns. Just above there is a Wasteland Spotlight which is going to be the ominous red light that comes from this drone. We can also see our Gatling guns, two atmospheric thrusters on the side to help us stop and move forwards and then a regular Spotlight right below our camera to help light up the darkness. If we were to come onto this side, that is our side atmospheric thruster. We can see some great use of our black digital camouflage skin blocks. There is a blinking blue interior light. And then we've got our sci-fi steel blocks or the neon blocks. I can't really remember what they're called. I think it's this one. The neon colorable lights. Yes, that's what we get on the side. We can see a couple more atmospheric thrusters to help on our left and right. There is another atmospheric thruster in between them to help keep us off the ground. And around towards the very back, not too much to talk about. It's just going to be the atmospheric thrusters sticking out on the opposite side. Around onto this side, instead of our blue blinking lights, we've got a red one. They're coming all the way up and above and looking down. That is what we get. So there's our remote control block. There is a battery to help power this thing. It does have a reactor on this, so you don't have to worry about that battery in the long run. Over here is a rotor with its head missing. This is going to be a way to charge up the drone without directly connecting it up with a connector. There are special controls on the actual drone itself once we take over it to allow you to dock this up to the rotor head. Anyway, at the back there, there is our antenna. And coming all the way down and underneath it, that is what we get. It's got a couple more batteries, we can see a gyroscope, and there is our nuclear reactor to give it a nice bit of power if you need to use this for a long time. And there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside. But what I'll do very quickly is just peer the camera all the way in. So we do have our sneaky little warhead, there it is, to blow it up in case you want to do that. We can now come out of that, I can grab hold of my character, I can come over to this very convenient setup we can take a long range control over it. There's just a seat with a antenna right behind me. Now come into here, remote access, take control of it. And these are the controls that we get. For the moment, I'll just bring the camera all the way over. And here we go. So number one is gonna be for our Gatling guns at the front there to find them both together. And the Gatling guns do produce enough force to move the vehicle backwards. There we are. Pressing number two is gonna be to take over the camera at the front. And thanks to the changes of the camera, we now got a very clear view of what's going on. Number four is then going to be for our reactor on and off. Number six is going to be for our warhead to detonate it, and it is on a timer. Watch this top out of the camera for a second. Come into here and find the warhead. There we go, we've got a five second timer on that, so it's not instant, but you could always set an additional control for an instant explosion, in case you want to do that. Number six is for our batteries to auto or recharge. Then eight and nine is going to be for our rotors to attach them onto a head, for you to charge this thing up, transport it around on another ship, or simply to put it into storage. On tab number two, three, and four, we got nothing else, so I can once again bring the free camera over, and we'll try and drive this thing around while it in view. So here we go, I'm not very good at controlling drones and the camera at the same time, but moving forwards, this is what we get. It's a rather speedy little thing, in fact, we'll have to come into the first person camera for this. And yes, you can see we are maxing out the power on this. I'm not sure if the reactor actually has uranium in it, so just quickly check in this. Yes, it does. It actually has quite a lot of uranium inside that small reactor. Let's ignore that for the moment. And yes, that maxing out the power does cause you to come down to the ground slightly when doing sharp corners, so it's best to keep this thing stable if you want to, well, avoid hitting the ground. If you were to move left and move right, you can see we've got a little bit of speed with that. Moving up, we are maxing out the power just a little bit. It did settle down there. Then moving down, that's going to be based on gravity. Wiggling the mouse around, we've got a nice lot of control over this, even though we've only got one gyroscope on here. It does give a nice bit of control without being too floaty. 
and it does drag it just a little bit so you could slap on an H1 if you needed to be extremely responsive, but at the end of the day it's generally what I prefer on a small little ship. So now what we can do is just fly this thing around, it's not going to be any kind of pirates on this modded planet, but I can just fly over to where I'm currently sitting and we go detonate the warhead. Here we go, just go and fly over, I'm not even sure where I am, let's go put the signals on. I am somewhere over here, we can now zoom all the way in, I can start shooting my gunning guns out there. And we can do a little bit of damage. I'm actually surprised I hit that. I usually miss things completely. But yes, now I can activate that warhead. We can start the countdown. I can now fly all the way over to it. And hopefully... Hopefully... Well, it looks like we sort of screwed that over a bit. It looks like... I'm not actually sure what happened. I can hear it still. But it just disintegrated. I'm not sure if it exploded the very second I crashed into it. But there's uranium. There's a few steel blocks. There is a hole underneath it. And that is very, very strange. But back to what I was doing, I'm now going to start up the warhead once again. In fact, that was the battery, wrong button. And yes, we'll start that up. We've got five seconds now just to float over to here. And we'll explode it, and I'll be that for this video. And there we go. That is the warhead. The station seems to be in roughly one piece. It deleted the other drone completely. There is no trace of both of them. The seat's gone, one of the reactors gone on the side there. Strange, we've got a bit of uranium sitting over here which is 2.4k, I think that was from the first drone I destroyed. There is a drone right there, I don't remember you being there. But there we go, that is that for the Nuvak Kai security droid. It's a very lovely remote controlled drone if you do need one in your world. I am a big fan of using drones in survival mode, because if you don't want to fly over your pressure ship, you don't want to roll over your big rover that contains everything in it, then drones are always a good way to go. Like I said, that is that for the Nuvak Kai security droid. It's a fantastic drone if you are looking for one in your world. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself, as well as the link to the planet I'm currently using. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.